In the optical kit, there are several items that I need to show you. As you can see here, and a pen light. We'll talk about those. And at the very back of the, in the behind the foam, you will find two 10 foot E charts and one, a few two 20 feet E chart and one 10 foot E chart. So two 20 foot E charts and one 10 foot E chart. I'll show you how they work. They, they work. Okay. First, let's look at the conformation twisters and the uh, lens rack. This is called a lens rack. There's two different kinds of lens racks. One of them is going to be labeled plus lens rack and one minus. Sometimes they're labeled concave and convex. And remember from my earlier discussion, concave are minus glasses for your sighted person, convex or plus glasses. So these are minus glasses, and it says minus right on it at the very top. Like I said, in some cases they may say concave. In this case, they say plus at the top. In some cases they may say convex, or vexing out in the center. Now I'm a nearsighted person, so this is the type of lens rack that I need. Now if you look carefully, you can see beside every lens is a power indicator. Now this is that's, this is the low power side right here. You can see five. Let me back up a little bit so I can focus a little better. See that's 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, and on down the line on my side. So this is this is the, here's the 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 15, 12, 10, and so forth. Now this. Lens rack would only be used if you had a situation where the autorefractor could not get a reading. In most of the cases, that's going to be like a person with cataracts or, or glaucoma or a numerous different uh, problems where they literally are not getting a reflection from the back of the eye, therefore the autorefractor is not getting a reading. So I'm going to show you how to use the lens rack. So I'm looking at the e-chart across the way, and here's an e-chart. And that each chart is being pointed to by somebody who's doing a test on you with the laser pointer. Okay, so they're going to be pointing to this. And this is starting at 2100, and this is down to 2016. And you want to try to get them around the 2030 and 2020 area down here in the bottom. Now, the other e chart, the larger e charts, they're slightly noted differently, the 20-foot e-chart, and I normally just tell them to get in between the green bar and the red bar, which is 2020 or 2030. That's where I normally try to get them to, look, to read. Okay, so I'll pull out the 10-foot chart, and let's suppose I were looking at it at a distance. So here is the minus lens rack. Okay, take my glasses off. I don't see how what it takes to improve my vision. Okay, I look across, and what I see across behind the camera is blurry. So I'm going to look through the different lenses until I find a lens that helps me. Now this is the best lens for me, and that lens is a minus two. This is a minus plate. That's a minus two. That's my, that is my sphere number. Of the three different numbers that you can get, sphere, cylinder, or axis, that's only the sphere. Now, that's fairly, that's accurate for me in that my, I have no astigmatism. I have no cylinder. So sphere is more than, is all I need. However, that's not as clear as I can make it. So I will pull up the confirmation flippers. And here are the confirmation flippers. And if you notice, this, these two flippers right here, are labeled plus or minus 0.25. And these two are labeled plus or minus 0.50. So these are plus, plus or minus 50. And these are plus or minus 0.25. Now if I take and put the minus 2 in front of my eye 
and I adjust, take the confirmation twisters, and you're like one or two. Now, when I, if I were in, in Honduras, I would say uno o dos. Uno o dos. Or press. No. So any one of the t one or two are without it. Which one gives you greater clarity? Well, I, I look at this one, and this is the one that I want. And that is a minus 0.25, and this is a minus 2. So if you add a minus 2 and a minus 0.25, you get a minus 2.25. And that's the spherical prescription for my right eye, which you then key in directly into the program. Now the other thing that's in this, in this little green box is a pen light. And if I were checking for a cataract, I put it from the side, and I move in like this, and I'm looking to see if the pupil gets white or gray. If it does, then the person has cataracts. Now, further information on the e-chart and the use of it is described in the how to use, how to do many optical things under tab one. You'll see a picture of an e-chart and how people are going to turn their hands. Like, like, for example, if I were to put my hands like this, I'm identifying this, this top E and the direction this top E is going. Down for this one on my on one side, this way for the other other one. So you turn your hands in the direction the E is going to go. Some people actually will print out an E and then get it, hand the E to them, tell them to turn the E in the direction it wants to go. So using the E chart is also simplified by, have, by having the laser pointer in that you don't have to post somebody next to the chart doing this. Instead, you simply have across the room, you do this while you're occluding the person's eyes to check them with the E chart.